Hi everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to be looking at Bitmojis and how to use them to jazz up your Google Classroom. For those of you watching on YouTube, this video is actually part of a four-hour course on Google Suite extensions and I'm currently giving a 50% discount on the course so click on the link in the description if you'd like to watch it. So first of all, if you don't know what a Bitmoji is, it looks like this. It's basically an emoji version of you. So I use this as my banner for my Google Classroom. You can also add Bitmojis to slides, docs, and drawings as well. So you can just use it to make your Google Classroom a bit more personalized and a bit nicer for your students to look at. As I just said, you can add them to slides, docs, and drawings. Another nice thing you could do is have a Bitmoji competition with your students. So if they all have the app, they can create their own Bitmojis and then they can also create slides and drawings for homework uh, and they can upload them to Google Classroom and then everyone can choose uh, the best one. If you don't have time to create your own banner for your Google Classroom but you still want to personalize it a little, I've uploaded this banner which you can edit with your own Bitmoji uh, at the end of this section. So go to the end of this section and there will be a link there for you and you can download the link and it will open this in Google Drawings and you can edit it to make it look like your own classroom. So if you don't already have a Bitmoji, go and download the Bitmoji app for your phone to create your own Bitmoji. Uh, you can't do this online, you have to have the app first to create your Bitmoji and then you download the extension for Google Chrome and it will automatically sync with your phone and you will have all your Bitmojis available there. So let's take a look at how to make this banner. So if you want to create your own Bitmoji banner, go to Google Drawings and open a blank document and you will need your document to be a file size. If I just go to page setup here, you need it to be um, 1042 by 2.6 inches and that will be the right size for the banner on Google Classroom. If it's any smaller or bigger it will come up looking a bit strange in Google Classroom. So make sure you have a blank document that's this size. Okay so I'm just going to go file and new to show you how I made this. So again let's change this file size so if I go down to page setup and then change the file size to custom and my other one we said was 1042 by 2.6 inches. Okay, there we go. So I've got my banner file size. So what I did to make the background was I went insert image and then search web and I searched for wall clip art and you can just scroll down here for the different walls. I think I use this one here and just drag and drop it into your frame and then drag it to fit the right frame. Okay. Then I did the same with the floor, so just search for a floor and you can choose any of these here. I chose this one because the floor was more slanted. Now this already has a wall on it, so what I'm going to do is just right click and it will bring up a crop option. And then I can just crop this image to fit. So I don't want the wall, I just want the floor. And then click off it. That's still a bit big, so what I'm going to do is just rearrange it, make it a bit smaller. And put it down here. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this a few times. And just add it all together. So there we go, I've got my basic room. Then what I did was I added my Bitmojis. So if we go up here, this is your Bitmoji extension. So again, to have this extension, in order to log in and have your Bitmoji, you first need to download the app on your phone, take a selfie of yourself, and then download the extension online, log in, and it will sync your phone with your computer. And then here you can see it's got a ton of Bitmojis for me to use here. 
So these are a few that I tried out. You've already got one with um, a teacher sort of vibe in it. So you could try that one. Okay, how about this one? It's got a nice pen on it, so I won't do it exactly, but... Okay, so I'm going to put this one over here. Just line it up with the floor. So I've already got my little marker board pen in my hand there, which is nice. And then I'm going to insert an image of a whiteboard. Now you can either search for this or I downloaded one from the internet already. Okay, there we go. So I've got my whiteboard here. Be wary that every time you insert a new photo, that photo is going to go on top of the other one. So if you want it to go behind, just right click and look at order and go send backwards and that will send it behind your other one. Then I added a little bit of text to this. Okay, there we go. So if you want to move around two objects at the same time, for example, if you've got some text overlaid onto an image, um, just click one, hit shift, hold down shift, click the other, and then you can right click and it will say group. So you can group that together and then I can move around this object here and both of them will stay together. So to make it look a bit more like a classroom, I just went on inserting images from the web. I just went clip art desk, I think was what I searched. Okay, there we go. There's your nice little student desk there. And just resize it, stick it in. Uh, and I also had a, or a, a bookcase. Again, make sure it's clip art if you want to keep it all kind of cartoon-like. Um, just to make it a bit more friendly, I put um, a picture of a window in as well. Just because everyone's stuck at home at the moment, so you want something a bit uh, brighter, a bit lighter. Um, and then I just added another little bitmoji of me just saying, uh, have a nice day. So to add a bitmoji, just as it says here, you need to right click and then copy and then go to what you want to paste it on, right click again and go paste. Um, I should be able to flip this as well. Flip uh, horizontally, there we go. Oh, it's backwards, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, let's choose a different bitmoji. Okay, how about this one here? That's a cute one. I'll have that. Okay, there we go. And I think I just added some kind of garlands or lights around it. So you can just again insert image and search on the web. Um, So just resize it and then rotate it a little and then I can put this over here. Again make sure you order it so that you send it to the back. So you've got some lights and then I'm just gonna copy and paste that again so I don't have to keep putting it in. And I'm gonna do the same over here. If you've got a few things on here you can right click on those and bring them forwards instead uh, and that should put them over your lights. There we go. And again I'm just going to copy and paste. Okay there we go. So there's a very rough version of uh, Google Banner with Bitmojis. If you want as well, let's say I want to change the colour of the wall or something, um, I can go and format and I can recolor things. So for example, I can change it to red. I think in my last one I had this dark one here. So you can go recolor, you can adjust, you can make it a bit brighter if you want. And you can change the brightness and contrast, add some shadows, reflections, anything you want there. Um, and then your last step, so this will have already automatically saved to your Google Drive. So that's going to save there. So your last step is heading over to your Google Classroom. So you can see I already have one here. 
Um, for some reason, when you upload it, it darkens it. Now, I haven't figured out how to undarken it yet so that it's nice and bright and light like our other one. Uh, if any of you have already done this with your Bitmojis in your Google Classroom and you've figured out a way to do that, please go to the Q&A section and let all of us know how to do that. It's always nice to share information and tips for people. So what you want to do is just go here to the bottom and go upload photo and then you can select. Uh, and then you're going to have to select it from your computer. So you are going to have to download this actually uh, directly from your Google Drive. Or you can save it here where it says download. You can save it as a JPEG or a PNG. So let's go save as JPEG. And you can see it down there. It's just popped up. Go back to your Google Class, hit Upload. You'll find it in your Downloads folder. Okay, and then it should come up like this, and then you can just resize it, drag it to the corners here, and there you go. And then just go select Class Theme. And there we have it. Okay, so that's how to create a Google Classroom banner using Bitmojis. Like I already said before, you can also add Bitmojis to slides and docs and quizzes and your students can use them too in competitions and for classwork and just to personalise their own Google Classroom a little. And don't forget to claim your 50% discount by clicking the link below. Join me in the next lecture where we'll be looking at Google Forms. I'll see you there.